we have to talk about this fight we have to talk about paddy pembler versus gerard gordon oh my god as someone said in the chat this might be one of the saddest stories to see in real time because paddy pembler has turned everybody against him in the ufc or mostly ufc fan base for what he did and what he said about ariel and just how he's been acting and him budding up to obviously dana white and thinking he's his best friend and everything else in between he has definitely rubbed people up the wrong way maybe even with some of his kind of spicier comments that like he's basically lob towards flipping Ilya Taporia but I feel like this is probably the worst thing that could have happened to his, to, his, to his career in my opinion to get a fighter like a Gerald Gordon who isn't the greatest himself but to have somebody like that offered up as a sacrificial lamb and for the sacrificial lamb to actually win because let's be honest he won I think if we're being if we're being somewhat if we're being somewhat charitable we could say maybe Paddy Pimblett maybe won one round but I still disagree with that he maybe won half of a round but he, I don't think he won a single round not on my scorecard I know the UFC scores differently but in my kind of casual scratch Catching my balls whilst I'm drinking a beer, watching this UFC late at night scorecard. He didn't win a single round for me. And I feel like the UFC did him a real disservice by giving him this victory on the plate because it does him no favors. Because what it effectively does for me is that it shows me that someone like a Gerard Gordon, who I don't think is that great, was able to basically do what he wanted to Paddy, um, especially him being smaller in terms of size and stature. And he basically was able to run Paddy around the cage how he wanted him to run around the cage for, I think, the majority of that match. So if you're anyone who wants to face Paddy, who is a prospective fighter you'll probably have a lot of encouragement because you're saying hey if i can just improve slightly on what gerald gordon did i can possibly get this guy out of here i can probably submit him i can probably win or whatever it may be but for me personally it definitely has done more negative to his flipping name than it definitely done positives because i don't understand it i watched that fight the judging i don't really get what what they were looking at maybe there's a whole different criteria to judge fights and i'm currently aware of especially with me being just a regular schmegular fan but i do not understand it in the slightest how paddy could have won that fight it doesn't make any 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 sense to me whatsoever and like i said it does him such a disservice now people are going to look at him like essentially how they used to look at um what's his face the other guy with a colorful hair until he obviously he started fighting actual good people but essentially him buddying up to flipping dana white has kind of paid off for him in the long run because i don't think he gets that result if he's just the paddy from before the paddy that gets dana white on his podcast and starts trashing ariel suddenly then gets a very contentious victory in his favor which i don't understand in the slightest it was legitimately one of the biggest robberies i've seen this year hands down and i know a lot of people in the ufc will say oh don't ever let it get to the judges you always try and get your guy out of there the ufc only say that selfishly because obviously for the ufc it serves them greater to have a highlight reel of you or to put even a montage or whatever it may be of you knocking out people then submitting them they have they're not in the business of submissions they don't care so clearly they want you to knock people out because it serves their bottom line better but it shouldn't be like that you shouldn't have to go into the octagon and try and take somebody's head off every time you fight just so you can win and because you don't you know you know what I mean because you're afraid of how the judges might score the card that's absolutely crazy in my opinion and clearly that's an issue that definitely needs to be addressed the other issue that needs to be addressed i feel like is definitely this flipping dana white's comments afterwards which i think are horrendous and definitely speak to the fact that the ufc i feel like would be in a far better place as a business and as an organization once dana white leaves his position as the face of the ufc he's a legitimate negative on the sport how he makes it all personal how there's always grievances that he kind of airs out favoritism all these really gross things that shouldn't be going on in sport he does and it's really really bad this is headline courtesy of like, bloody obo it says terrible game plan dana white bruises gerald gordon after controversial loss to paddy pembley ufc 282 and this is what he said in the article um or this is what he said after the fight he said gerald gordon had a terrible game plan against paddy he should have he shouldn't have coasted through the third round thinking he was up on the scorecards so you're the own flip the quote-unquote owner he's not really or the face of the of the organization that you're fighting for is telling you that you have to get your flipping fire out of the octagon in order for you to win you can't depend on the judges who are there to judge the scorecard in case it doesn't go to knockout so they can ascertain who won you can't judge them you can't trust them sorry so if we can't trust them, why are we using them then? Do you know what I mean? What the hell is going on here? Safe to say the controversial ending won't hurt Pelin's popular stock. But yeah, it definitely will hurt his reputation, I feel like. Because I don't feel like Paddy Pemblet has got any chance against anybody else in the lightweight division. Because that's who he's facing, right? It's mostly lightweight. I don't think it's featherweight. It's mostly light, if I'm not mistaken. That's where Fingy Majiggy is. Um, that's where, um, what's his face? Paddy can fight. And I'm guessing if he wants to, he could maybe go up 
um, or maybe go down to featherweight. I doubt it. But anyway, let's say he's lightweight. That's what he basically fights for the most part, right? He doesn't stand a chance with any person here. Obviously, he doesn't stand a chance with fucking um, Islam. Charles Oliveira who gets smoked by Dustin Poirier who gets smoked by Justin Gaethje smoked Benil Dariush just give him Benil Dariush if you want to it's, it's not it's unfair because he definitely deserves uh you know maybe higher opposition and maybe a title shot but if you really want to test his metal and see where he's at give him Benil Dariush he'll get smoked um Michael Chandler will definitely smoke uh Paddy Pembley in my opinion um Rafa Faiz uh Faiz sorry definitely will smoke him Rafa Dos, um, Dos Anjos this version now of course Mateos Gamera I'm not really too familiar with him Armand Tuscurian for sure he would smoke him Jalen Turner for sure Dan Hooker would give Paddy Pembley a real real barn summer fight not sure how that would go to be honest but i think he would give him a real real barn summer damien um is my gulob i'm not really too familiar with him renato uh moichano if i'm not mistaken he's well he's well he was called cowboy too right renato um i think he would give paddy a, a real good test also he can might he might actually catch him in a submission conor mcgregor and then entire tony ferguson who i think paddy would probably beat it's probably tony ferguson this entire division conor i don't think even he'd beat personally i know this is an un, an un um, popular opinion but the way i saw paddy defending punches with his chin having his chin up in the air like he was fighting out in the street and having his, his coaches outside of the octagon telling him to tuck his chin in like telling him to guard his like put his hands up and shit like textbook shit that you get taught if you go to your first Muay Thai class I don't necessarily think he's got standards of chance so number one he ruined reputation with the fans of how he attacked Ariel and basically came across like a bit of a bully then number two he then ends up cozying up with Dana White who most UFC fans hate because of how he's treated fighters and then number three he goes and allegedly uh, wins this fight that he had with Gerald Gordon even though I think on my scorecard he lost every single round so this probably ends up doing him far more worse than he actually ever imagined man what an absolute shock of a decision if that's mean I'm Paddy I'm telling him hey can you please put can you please wait to do all that fixing later I don't do it now when I'm just getting started like just do that later I know maybe people want the uh, the, the momentum of being undefeated but in actuality it doesn't actually matter if you are undefeated or not um, it's whether or not you're actual good fighter whether or not you can put on fun and interesting fights whether or not you can challenge for the belt the fact that you lost a couple of times shouldn't really matter but these guys are a little bit different when it comes to all that sort of stuff man but what can you do what can you bloody do